today we we'll have to start our second chapter that is solution see that first we we'll have to study the introduction about the solution we we'll have to study in 11th standard that solutions means it will be prepared from the solute and solvent to form the solution see first we have to heard the word mixtures means the introduction of solution is we have to heard the word mixtures see that mixtures means one or more component they are mixed uh, together how to call as the mixtures that mixtures are classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous and heterogeneous means here mixtures means two or more substances they are combined what we call as mixtures they are homogeneous they are classified into homo and heterogeneous homo means of the constituent where component are uniform they are uniform and here in heterogeneous it will be not uniform or not uniform means the constituent that particles they are not uniform in heterogeneous and in homogeneous it will be uniform means homo means the same hetero means the different see in your standard that homogeneous mixtures they are depending on mean mostly in terms of solution we have to study here that homo means the same that will be the all constituent particles are in uniform nature and that constituent particle depending on the size of constituent particle that homogeneous they are classify into polarized and true solutions polarized and true solution and mostly the true solution we have to use in this chapter see we have to study here the solution means in our life process there are number of solutions we have to use here that our body fluid is the solution or in industrial area they have used in industrial process so many types of the solution see here the solution means it will be the homogeneous mixtures of two or more substances or to call as the solution or to call as the solution see here or to use the true solutions means these are the introductory part of the solution homogeneous means that will be the two or more substances they are combined and forms the solution see this is the introductory part of the solution then the next part of the solution or to study here the types of the solution types of solution see how to study the types of solution depending on the physical states that is solid liquid and gaseous here depending on that three states so how to study here the nine types of the solution related to the nature of solute and solvent because our solution it will be prepared from solute plus solvent we have to get the solution we have to get the solution means depending the physical state of solute and physical state of solvent we have to prepare the solution that having the three states of matter and they have classified into the nine types of the solution see we have state of solute state of Solid. Then physical state of so 
diluted with solid here it will be gas that iodine in air this number of example like that way the state of solute you have to take here the solid then solvent solid liquid solid and gas again these three types then state liquid then liquid in liquid that alcohol in water ethanol in water that liquid in solid liquid in gas this these are the six and then next state that will be the state of solute we have to take as a gas then gas in liquid then gas in solid and gas in gaseous we have to know that best example gas in gas but here is there are number of gases means that type here the ninth type of the solution they have classified means these are the nine types the question asked on in exam that uh, they have give the examples and in option they have give solid in liquid or liquid in solid or gases in gases means depending upon that example they have asked the question for the mcq then for to study here the next topic that capacity of solution to dissolve the solute capacity of solution to dissolve the solute here we have to study the capacity of solution to dissolve the solute dissolve the solute see the so capacity capacity of solution to dissolve the solute see in that take an example here capacity of solution to dissolve the solute means or take take the solute or to add to the solvent and form the solution form the solution here means Here solute when added to the specific amount of solute in specific amount of solvent, it forms the solution. It forms the solution. When we have to take the excess amount of that, means some part of that we have to add it into the solution. That first we have to take the solute part, then solvent added, then another means we have to extra add the solute. Then the at initial state the rate of dissolution it will be faster but after when we have to add the number of solute then the dissolution rate it will be decreases decreases and in one time the dissolution process it will be stopped dissolution process it will be stopped means that solute we have to add it to the solvent it will be dissolved but at one time it will be stopped and a dynamic equilibrium it will be observed that type of solution we have to call as the saturated solution we have to call as the saturated solution means the specific amount dissolved in specific solvent specific amount of solvent forms this solution means further the dissolution process it will be stopped means that solution is a saturated solution means equilibrium it will be attained then when excess quantity excess of solute added that will be the super saturated solution super saturated solution or to call it the super saturated when specific amount the specific solvent forms a solution when further dissolution rate it will be stopped then that will be saturated solution and when excess of solute or to added that will be the super saturated solution then next part of this chapter we have to study in the